Hello, this is a small video, short video talk about my new mod I got. Um, I was so excited to get this, I couldn't wait for it. Um, this is an iJoy um, A Solo mod. It's a dual 18650 mod. It is tiny. I, I would go to say it's the smallest dual 18650 mod on the market. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it is. Now, these guys came up with a very interesting uh, gimmick, you could say. Um, it's called taste control or temperature control um, for canthal coils or stainless steel coils. That's just your normal bog standard coil that you get or you can make yourself. And they claim that this device can prevent dry hits when using those, um, which is previously only something you'd expect to get from NI coils or titanium coils. So I'm very pleased to say that, yes, it does work. I don't even, I don't even know the how they get it to work. But it works. Um, I've, uh, when my tank's been really empty, I've vaped it upside down for ages, and I've just been blowing clouds, 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 clouds. In fact, I'm gonna do it now. Why not? As you can see, I've turned the tank upside down. So obviously, it was the the coil was very wet because it was standing properly, but. Let's let's make this go dry, and I'll show you how it does work. I'm just gonna, like, yeah, vape it all. So just watch. Right. Let's try again nothing. I know there's nothing because there's a little droplet there. Uh, it's not it's not zooming in nicely. I'm just using my webcam on my laptop so obviously it's not very good. Sorry. Yeah, I can't I can't show you but basically it's got a little symbol like a droplet and um, yeah you saw that it stopped vaping no dry hit whatsoever as soon as it was not happy with the juice it stopped firing so that's going to be that really works as dry hit prevention most of my tanks are all glass so it'll be very rare that I run out of juice to such a level that I don't know I'm running out but the nice thing is when I'm using this I can just go as long as the machine lets me without worrying Whereas before, when it would get really low, I would know, okay, if I don't want to get a shit taste in my mouth, I better top it up or change it or whatever. Uh, battery life, yeah, it, I, th I think it's quite impressive. <coughs> I've had um, Samsung R25s in there. They've lasted like three or four tanks worth of time vaping. Um, I'm vaping, a, I've been using my coil, my crown, um, tank or the 0.25 coil. This is my Nautilus V2 with the 0.3 ohm coil, and um, yeah, the the so that's quite low ohms, <coughs> high power, but the battery is lasting a really long time. So I'm not necessarily like bigging up the battery. I think the device uses power very well. Um, I have had problems with my Atlantis. V2 tank on here um, sometimes it says like it asks me if I'm put a new tank on um, why it would do that is because when you start using a new tank it registers it has to learn a bit and then you're good to go so I could put it down then come back to it and it says have I put a new tank and the answer is no it's the same tank but obviously the tanks are making a good connection I I think it's the, the pin on the tank bit because if I push it down it seems to then work fine 
I've had no problems at all with the crown tank. It's never forgotten the crown tank. So I wouldn't say it's the mod because it's not a problem I've had with all my tanks. I've only got two tanks. I've got two V two V2s and one crown. So it's only happened on my one V2. I haven't tried the second V2 on it, but I would say it's more the tank than the mod because it's not doesn't happen when I have the crown on. But I've never had any problems with my V2 on any of my other devices. So yeah, it's, I don't know who's to blame. Um, it's not a hard problem to fix, but that would be my only gripe so far. So <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to bring this um, short review of the A Solar. This is just like an opinion review. A few of the things I've found so far, so by no means any technical extravaganza on it. I don't. Yeah, there's other guys out there. have got all the facts and figures. Oh yeah, I think I need to have a bit of something. Let's wet my throat and I'll give you a big vape, show you what this bad boy can do. Um, okay, yeah, I'm vaping at 75 watts. Vapor production is really good. So it's a good tank, but it goes very. This device really fires it nicely. Yeah, um, it's a 200 watt device. I'm not even using it at half of its um, potential. I don't think I ever will. Maybe that's why the battery lasts so long. Because it's geared up to use a lot of power and I'm not using a lot of power so it's almost like just cruising um, yeah happy days I recommend that you go and at least find a brick and mortar shop that sells these hold one in your hand ask them for a demonstration um, these mods are really really nice take care vape out